Greetings, my little chicken nuggets. Today, you're going to be going on an adventure in Nearpod. Sorry, sassy lassie. Um, you're going to be going through some practice. I'm adding videos. What? I must really love you. And then you'll do a little practice, and then you'll be able to see my answer to see if you're on the right track. And then right-ish in the middle of it, you're going to see a quiz that is going to count for a, a graded assignment. So make sure that you're not just doing it in your head, getting sloppy, because I'm not there, and you're back from the break, and you're tired, and you're no mood. Okay, you can't find the motivation. Dig in there. See if you can find that motivation. Make sure you have a notebook and pencil out, and you should be fine. And to get you ready, I thought I would show you what your first skill is going to be all about. It's going to be that multiplication with fractions. So if you look over here, you're going to see that I am showing a model to find two-thirds of nine. I could do this fifth grade style by simply looking at my bottom number to see that I need to make three equal groups. And if I make three equal groups in a, an array of nine, you'll see that I have three in each group. Now I'm going to direct my eyes up to that numerator. I need to count two of those groups. Two because it says two out of three, right? Two thirds. And once I've highlighted those and count them up, I'll see that my final answer would be six. Now we're going to take a look at the sixth grade algorithm because some of you are going to actually find that to be a little bit easier. Remember that when we say two thirds of nine, we're saying two thirds times nine. And that is how I'm going to set this up as a multiplication number sentence. Remember, I can put a one under a whole number to make it behave a little more like a fraction. And then we taught you that little shortcut that if you look, if you're multiplying with a fraction and you want to simplify before you multiply, that will make your life a little easier. So I'm going to look at the top and I'm going to look at the bottom and I'm going to see if I have any common factors. And I do because three can be divided by three and nine can also be divided by three. I'm going to show that division with just a little slash and then writing my numbers up there. It's nice and clean. I multiply across the way and across the way and I end up, lo and behold, with six over one, which is the same as six. And you might remember that's exactly what happened when we started that first problem fifth grade style. Yay, they match. Now you're going to try that same skill. 